All right, you guys, um, I've been recording this video for the past hour and I'm about to just be like, screw it. Uh, I know you guys have probably looked at other videos since I am not the top person for audio reviews. And today it's the Tozo um, NC9s, great earbuds. And yeah, you can see all that good stuff. But I'm not really gonna go into all the details. You got the six, you got the six ear tips. Uh, one of them's cylindrical. One of them's more like a ball shaped or rounded shape. Uh, figure out what fits you best before you actually judge how the sound quality of these earbuds. Um, it's a USB Type C, as you can see here. Actually, I'm just gonna put that right there. USB Type C, as you can see here. Uh, the case, quality case, fits, uh, the, the lid is very snappy, solid, no play in it, fantastic, love it for that aspect. One thing I didn't like, uh, USB Type-C, it's good, don't get me wrong, but felt a little bit flimsy, feels like I could break it, but we'll see. Um, what else? Comparing to the True Engine 3SEs by Sound Soundpeats. Their lid was flimsy. I did not like that at all. They also put the charging, the, the the battery indicator on the inside, I feel was not a very good design, but it's not a make or break sort of thing. As you can see, there were four lights there. That's the indicator. When it's red, it's charging. When it blinks blue and red, it's in pairing mode. Right now it's in pairing mode because I got my Bluetooth on my phone turned off because I don't want to screw up this video. <laughs> and yeah. Yeah, I didn't like the plastic on the outside of the case though. It feels kind of cheap, but at a $50 to $60 price range for ANC earbuds, they're really good overall. As you can see, the buds stayed in quite well inside the case. It was actually almost challenging to a degree to get them out. On the outside of the bud, it is the touch surface. You've got one mic there, and then you've got one mic inside here. This is the this is the hybrid noise canceling mic. So what it does is basically take noise from your music inside your ear canal and noise from the outside and compare the two and basically can try to attempt to cancel that noise out to a degree. Uh, understand that the noise canceling on these headphones are not two to $300 earbud earbuds. It was 50 to $60, so it's not gonna cancel everything out. It is, however, going to do about, I think they said around 20 decibels, which is good for commuting on trains, airplanes, um, anything with, anything with a, a, a humming sound, we'll call it. Uh, it will do a pretty good job of drowning things out. I've got a fan next to my head over here at my in front of my desk, and uh, I don't hear it at all when I have my music on. So that's great. Um, again, with the ear tips, make sure you find the right fit for you before you decide to judge these headphones if you buy them and try them out. Tozo, uh, these are my first Tozos, but I've hear, I hear a lot of good things about their other earbuds. Um, in terms of the quality of the bud, it seems fine. Uh, it's pretty good overall, I would say. I wish it had more of a matte texture on the outside rather than, it, it's matte, but it's not like rubbery it had like the rubbery texture on the outside it would have a much more premium feel i would say these feel cheap and it's just you know they printed the l and the r on the tips i can literally just probably take some nail polish and take it right off and rebrand it to something else if i wanted to but um you know if that's your th if it's important to you well this is what you're stuck with if you decide to buy these um but honestly they work fine they're very light. I do like that. So that that's great. In terms of the size, I thought these things were huge when I first like saw other people review it. But it turns out they're actually relatively compact if you're used to other like dynamic um, in-ear monitors. I, I've got a lot of the China branded ones. I got the KZZS10 Pros and those things sound fantastic. I wish they could make a, a set of Bluetooth uh, earbuds that sounded like those. But um, yeah, these have a very, very similar shape. And once I, I, I expected actually to feel some discomfort or fatigue when I saw these, but I, I put them in and my God, they fit 
perfectly. They were, I don't know that if it's a typical ear shape, I would assume it would be. Um, I don't have big ears, so unless you have really small ears, you might have an issue with these, but I, I would say these were very, very comfortable. I can see myself wearing these for hours on end, or at least until the battery goes dead. Um, yeah, compared to the True Engine 3 SEs, they're both on par in terms of comfort. I would say the True Engine 3s were a little bit smaller in size, which I did like, um, but uh, I would say they're on the same page or same level in terms of comfort. Um, sound quality, it will differ based on your preference. On these, I would say it's more, more bass and more treble. Uh, treble for me was a bit on the harsh side. A lot of other people have said that on their reviews as well. And I absolutely agree, it is a little more harsh. Uh, but I do have um, SoundCloud, not SoundCloud, ah, Spotify. And they have a built-in equalizer. So I was able to kind of change it, change the sound to my preference. Uh, but straight up out of the box, these sounded bassy and trebly, very high on the treble. And the mids were very recessed. Uh, if you're okay with that sound, if that's the sound quality you like, these are great for you. Uh, for my personal preference, I like my I like my mids a little more forward and a little bit less treble. Um, so I don't know how much, if I'm going to hold on to these, but so far I'm going to give them a shot. Um, what else? The True Engine SEs actually have a much more balanced sound for my taste. Uh, I am not comparing apples to apples because you do have to consider the fact that the True Engine SEs use a dual dynamic driver, which I think are 8.6 millimeters each. So you've got a lot more detail detail coming out of those you can hear a lot more um sound separation and i would say those actually have a little more sound stage it's not a world of difference in terms of sound stage but uh, i will say those were a little bit clearer but if you want to bump i would say these definitely are better they have more bass um yeah and just if you like just deep rumble it's not that crazy but it's definitely better than the true engine three SEs. they do shine there better um let's see other than that i guess that's pretty much it guys uh oh no 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 i'm sorry uh touch controls very very intuitive with these guys um i was but i was kind of annoyed with the true engine three SEs because for them, I think that what they did was basically one tap would pause or play the music, two taps would, oh no, I'm sorry, on the True Engine S, 3 SEs, it's one tap for to increase or lower volume, two taps to pause or play, and uh, touch and hold in order to change tracks. It wasn't horrible, but I would say these are definitely more intuitive in the fact that these would basically one tap to pause or play, two taps to change cha uh, to change tracks, and this one is you hold the you you put put your finger on and hold to change volume, and it will it won't just change at one level; it'll increase or decrease until you let go. So I found myself on the True Engine threes trying to change the volume occasionally, and it was just really annoying not to accidentally tap it too fast to change the volume. I would end up changing tracks by accident instead. So that was kind of frustrating. So I do give it to these guys for intuitive touch controls. And not only that, the, sur the surface, uh, I forget if I said anything about that, the, but the surface on this is notably bigger. And I think they worked really, really well. The True Engine 3 SEs, it's, it goes from like the mic to the light to the edge, edge here. That's, it's like a triangular shape, which is fine. And it looked really nice, but I did find myself at times unable to touch to to be able to touch the touch controls properly, and I kind of have to f mess around with it, which was kind of frustrating. Um, yeah. Other than that, that's pretty much my review on these buds and comparing them to the True Engine Three SEs. If you guys have any other questions, please feel free to leave comments in the uh, down below. Um, if you enjoyed the video or if you didn't enjoy the video, give me a thumbs up or thumbs down uh, and please consider subscribing. 
I'm eventually going to have uh, links below. Um, please consider buying through my links. It'll help out the channel. And yeah, thanks again for checking us out. You guys have a good one.